This Yo. house sucks. I hate this house. Ben. I should have bought this house. This is where the Batmobile will be. The first buyer bought this house for 3.5 mil in 2012. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Stop. What is... No. That's so dumb. That's so f dumb. That's so f dumb. This house is a testament to mankind's greed and ignorance. <laughs> I mean, true. Major bag alert. I mean, are you regretting your three mil? What? No. This is a $16.5 million right, dollar mansion. Welcome back to a blast from the past. We're going to go back and look at the time that we bought a $16.5 million dollar mansion that's worth double now. Honestly, I wouldn't sell that house right now unless somebody paid me double, which they possibly could do. You know what? We're going to put this thing on the damn market. Now's the time. The only thing is, I got to find somewhere else to live. Stay tuned, and that was the buy. Maybe you'll get to see the sale. Don't forget, Life is Sale Live, December the 4th. Book your room. Come to the show. Hang out with us. Let's all talk about making some money. <laughs> this guy is... Today, I bought this house for $16.25 million. I bought it because I'm a big, fat motherfucker. It's a great house. Look at it. It's got a pool. It's got this. It's got that. It's got everything. It's a great place. And it's the biggest motherfucker in town. We're going in here to close a deal on a big house. A big house. I'm trading two houses so I don't have to have two houses. I don't want a beach house and a house here. So we're trading two houses for one. Oh, dude. Oh, that's that's efficient, dude. My man is just efficient. You guys don't understand. That's why he did that. He reduced. Uh, oh, dude, that makes so much sense. Never mind. But yeah. At first, I was going to say that's up. He was just redu he was uh, reducing redundancies, I think. <laughs> yeah, he was he, he was reducing his carbon emissions, dude. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Big deal. People do Someone it. said this is evil Lenin. <laughs> All the time. Everything is confidential until the deal is closed. After today, the deal will be mine. Then I can do what I want. Otherwise, you have to protect people's privacy. So okay? So Remember, protect people's privacy. Mm -hmm. Three PPs. You are the PPP PP with an extra P. There's a lot of truth to this. It's all truth. Basically, we had a house on the intercoastal. Then she wanted to have a house on the beach. So we had a house in the coastal. We had a house on the beach every goddamn Friday. We had to pack all this shit up to go to the beach house and hang there for the weekend. And then we had to get the hell out of there in time Sunday night and get home to where the kids had to be so they can go to school. Yeah, that's f***ed up, man. It's too much work. That's why you gotta, that's why you gotta cut that down to one big house. That's the size of like eight houses. So it's all this schlepping it's around every weekend. You Working poor schlubs, dude. You don't understand. That's big. That's a big business brain, baby. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the beach house was a pain in the ass. This house made sense when you look at the whole picture. Now we got one house, okay, on the beach, and it was a damn good deal. No utilities. You already turned utilities on. You already get those on. So, I mean... Has the house been empty for a while? Yeah. That is wife? Unoccupied. Yeah, like your head. <laughs> Unoccupied. So what do you want for my life? I'm signing a piece of paper. Big deal. Okay? We're signing a paper. Here. It's a simple deal. We're buying a house. You know, people buy houses every day. This guy's a real pain in the neck. Really? I gotta make sure all this stuff is fixed in the house. Can you do me a favor and give me a copy? That'd be awesome if his wife was literally built exactly like him. Like his wife just looked like him, but with a wig. You know what I mean? That's so sick. When I, leave here, I really hope that's his wife. Sure stuff was done. Uh -huh. What am I going to do about the stuff that hasn't been done, Tom? <laughs> there is a, a pump that's not working on a pool. There's fireplaces that aren't working. Uh, I saw some spider webs. It's like a, like an Eddie Murphy movie. You know what I mean? He's like, he's playing his wife as well. <laughs> <laughs> that pool pump I know takes time to order. And it's like a, a I heard it's like a fifteen thousand dollar pump. <laughs> what do we do? Your latest buddy Raphael's guaranteeing it. 
uh, I'm holding an agent responsible, a Polish agent at that. Yeah. Responsible. All right. What else? We got nothing going on except I'm refinancing Clearwater Beach Hotel. Yeah. He wants this. They want character references from the bank. Oh, really? How dare they question character. my character? Anything we can come up with any How for you? How dare they? Just tell them to go on YouTube. They'll find out all you know. Um, I told him call Jimmy Hart. What do you do all day? <laughs> what do I do all day? I take care of you. <laughs> so hey, it's the biggest here. house sale on the west coast of Florida. Come on. So what's the story? I just uh, signed all the docs. The money's uh, being wired. Are you ready for my inspection? Yeah, but uh, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna release the wire or the money until I see the do the inspection. All right, it's real simple. When you buy a house, make sure. Why is he watching himself, dude? What? Until I see the do the Wait, inspection. Look All at right. that cut. <laughs> He's just watching himself on the screen, dude. I love this guy. What the. F yeah, it's real is... simple. When you buy a house, make sure that if there's anything wrong with it, you negotiate for it to be fixed, you know, before you agree to buy the house. And whatever they agree to fix, make sure it gets fixed because people are forgetful. And make sure that somebody is on the hook for getting the stuff fixed if it ain't fixed before you close the escrow. <laughs> I'm signing a trespass, a trespass, a no trespass order with the city of Bel Air. We're doing the podcast here. I'm not doing nothing here. You know, you can't be sentimental with this stuff. It's all about making money, making money. Progress, move ahead. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? It takes me like five days really? to clean the whole place, like five days by myself. Really? So you've been yeah. cleaning this place for over a year? Yeah. What the f house so big it takes five days to clean it? Yo, what? You clean this place for over a year. Yeah. Were people living in it or empty? Well, they come and go. They they're not, they're yeah. not really here yeah. often. So what do you normally charge basically to clean? Well, I get $20 an hour. Okay. Yeah. But I love it. This I is know. dope, man. Congratulations. So yeah. you got a card or a number? I have a number. I don't have a card, but I'll give you my number for sure. Do you come so. by yourself or you come with people? Riley, my partner. Like the cleaners? Yeah. Yeah, they're, I'm the property manager. They need you to clean. So you get both for 20 bucks an hour? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good deal. she works hard. We're just doing a walkthrough for a little house over on the beach. I've made some. Bro. I thought he was just gonna fire her on the spot. Like, oh, all right, good. Well, twenty bucks. Try ten, girl. Yeah, that's right. Uh, all right, you fired. <laughs> like, oh, dude, you know, I gotta find. I'll go find somebody to do it for t for ten. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. This guy's so sick. It made me forget the top of the hour ad break and run it. You know what I mean? That's the real investment that you need to make right now, chatters. At the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. If you want to avoid those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free. All right with the Twitch Prime. Here's the one minute ad break now. Some mistakes in my life, but this could be the biggest. <laughs> I'm, I may go broke over this place. Taxes, insurance, <laughs> landscaping, no pool, no. housekeeping. Yeah, you can't afford it. I got to get a job. So, the generator work in this dump? Yeah. Yeah. The hurricane comes, I want power. Is this real stuff? Oh my god. Bro, how much uh fluffy jackhammer think of the 5 3 one give subs. I wonder how I wonder how much power need is needed to like power that thing to, w during a hurricane. Oh my god. Stone? <laughs> is this real stone or is this that Fake stuff they have in Disney World. This place looks like Disney. It's all too good to be true. How am I? You want me to tell you how I am? I'm broke. So I guess he's checking everything. That's that. No coffee, no bagels. See, now you close the deal. Last time he had coffee and bagels. Now he has nothing. Once they rope you in these real estate agents, then they cut the line. 
as soon as they see that money's coming. Literally just admitted the fears of the landlord or business owners having to work. Yes, of course. I mean, they cut the line. <laughs> what is that? How do you have a wood counter get scratched up? It's yeah. stupid. Yeah, you just put a stone counter on top of it. I mean, why would anybody design a, a wood? That's as stupid as a concrete one. Why would they put a wood counter? I want this changed. Write it down. I'm not closing. Send your guys over granite. You guys split the bill. This place <laughs> sucks. So you told her? Okay, so she's coming over now. Yeah, she can. Who? The newspapers. So okay, the other part about this is though, like, that every party involved in this is a bad person, okay? So, like, him being a bad person isn't necessarily bad in this situation. Like, you can still root for him in this situation because, like, the other side is, like, trying to f him hard, too. So he's not even wrong about like the f wood top, like the wood countertop in the kitchen. Like he can make that f demand because the person that he's making that demand from is also, you know, selling a $16 million house, right? Not the cleaning staff, obviously. I'm talking about like every party involved in the purchase and sale of this. Like the real estate agent is making, you know, a percentage off that sale. So they're f doing gangbusters on this. Like, it's all th this guy's great. So we can show him who's the big shot real estate agent in town. They're, they're gonna the pole huh? Who's gonna hey. kill you? Oh. Hey, kill how you? are you? Nice you? to see you. Welcome to 20,000 square feet of perfection on who's the Gulf of Mexico. Uh -huh. Over 200 feet of linear footage, an unheard of assemblage of two and a half lots, never to be duplicated ever again. Not ever. Bullshit, you can buy two city houses and knock them down and build the same shit. I oh, tend to disagree you, with you. Would you say this is the nicest house in Pinellas County? Absolutely, the nicest home in Pinellas, Hillsborough, Sarasota, Manatee counties. Why, why do you say that? Are you serious or are you just being like... I'm being completely serious. Uh, no, basically, you're, you're looking at a home that most likely had materials here that were brought over from every oh, part of the world. Well, also Israel, in addition to Poland. But you've got limestone, you've got cast stone, you have this unbelievable 4,000 square foot veranda on the Gulf. You have 200 linear feet on the Gulf of Mexico. You have a pool that extends the width of the property. You have a separate guest home that is more luxurious than most of the homes on this stretch of beach. Um, just incredible workmanship. You've got hardened, cabinetry, hardened house cabinetry. You've got stone flooring, European oak and ash. Um, you have a trophy room, you have a bowling- Also, chat, I just want you to remember that, like, this motherfucker dropped 16 mil, and that house is gonna be underwater, like, in the next 30 years, you know what I mean? That house, year over year, is gonna have a smaller beach, okay? A smaller and smaller beach, getting closer and closer to the water, until it's just fucking drowning, okay? Which is part of the reason why this is insanity. That's what's crazy about this is that, like, he bought a sixteen million dollar house on the beach, and it's he's on borrowed time. Alley, you have a wine cellar, you have a dedicated guest house, you have a game room, you have a fitness center, you have a seven car garage, you have five thousand square feet of covered loggia terrace. It is surreal. And I don't believe that there's ever been anything like this that has closed for a record amount. Is this guy a salesman or what? Okay? You gotta give this guy credit. Yes, he's a pain in the ass. Yes, he's crazy. But he's a real salesman. He knows more about shit than you buy than you'll ever know. He, or he bullshits really well. Yeah, that music is appropriate for the you know, inevitable climate change uh, <laughs> that is going to get that waterfront to be closer and closer to your house. Like, that's actually what's going on. That's how close. Is he just straight playing Game of Thrones music? What the fuck? How is this not, like, copyright free? I'm so confused. He just, what is he doing? It's a cover? Okay. <laughs> POV, you're a tidal wave. 
Bro, that is bananas, dude. Look at that, dude. <laughs> That's so big, dude. That's fucking crazy. I mean, look at that. What is that? This is a tower. This is houses built like a Dark Souls uh, uh, map, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the beach isn't even private, which is kind of cool. I like that. Sixteen mil, and you can still lean out the window and touch your neighbor's house. Uh, welcome to zoning, brother. That's how it be. Like that's just how it is. That's always how it is. That's that's how it is in my uh in in my neighborhood as well. Like you have to maximize uh the house that you're putting on the the land that you have. You know. Library slash den. Slash okay, that's office sick. Was basically modeled that's sick. After a two story duplex apartment at the Osborne in New York City, right across from Carnegie Hall. Oh my I mean, God. It's, it's funny that this office came from New York. I came from New York. So well, we know. You know this office was meant for me. Welcome to the. That is sick. That is sick as fuck. Apple. That's sick as fuck. That office was tight. Straight up. Sorry. Yell at me all you want, but that was a dope ass. That was a fucking dope ass office, dude. That shit looked sick. So it's completely inspired by like a Napa Valley wine cellar. You have a formal dining room with the most incredibly rich heart. Jesus, this house is like 50 minutes from my house in Largo, which is in central Pineas. The wealth on the beaches is insane. Meanwhile, I'm living in my thousand square duplex lol, just insane. Aren't you a, aren't you the lib Faustini? What's up, dude? One day. One day, brother. You keep up that neoliberalism and, and one day you'll be uh you'll be welcomed into the to the riches, okay? Keep simping for capitalism, brother. You're gonna get that. I believe for you. I believe in you. Laundry and crevette wallpapers. <laughs> Just it kidding. Has calamari wallpaper. Inlaid ceilings, this exquisite fixture, and then a picture window right into that incredible wine cellar where you can it's big enough to host an event. I'm putting soda in there. Okay. Soda. So this is a butler's kitchen. An actual butler's kitchen separate, a dedicated butler's kitchen separate from the main kitchen, where basically, look, look, look at this incredible cabinetry, right? Wolf gas range, a six burner. Look at this incredible stone farmhouse sink. This actually was hand hammered in Maine. Take a look, Thermidor refrigerator. The quality, the selections of this home, basically on, uh, on par with no one else. The absolute most expensive way to finish a wall in Florida where they usually use knockdown texture, orange peel, or a variation thereof, yeah. is this beautiful skin coating. This is the most expensive way to finish a wall. So basically, if there are any huh. defects, you typically use um, like an orange peel or a knockdown texture. There's none of that here. Ceiling. So this guy bought it for 16 mil, and someone said in the chat that the current Zillow estimate on this house is 26.2 million. Motherfucker bought it for 16 million in 2019, right? Isn't that when he bought it? That's fucking crazy. His walls, look at the perfection here. At least 22 different ceilings that I've been able to count in this home. Each of them a different play, a different theme. To be fair though, a lot of these, um, a lot of these videos, or not a lot of these videos, a lot of these houses don't actually sell for that. Like most of this stuff, most of this stuff, they make it seem like it's like, uh, you know, oh yeah, definitely. This is what the real estate value is, but nobody's fucking buying that shit for, cause the, the purchasing market for that is like very limited. Who the fuck's dropping 26 mil? You know what I mean?
This Yo. house sucks. I hate this house. Ben. I should have bought this house. This is where the Batmobile will be. The first buyer bought this house for 3.5 mil in 2012. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Stop. What is no? That's so dumb. That's so f dumb. That's so f dumb. This house is a testament to mankind's greed and ignorance. <laughs> I mean, true. Major bag alert. I mean, are you regretting your three mil? What? No. Dude. It's gangbusters because it's in like Clearwater or whatever. Okay. So clearly that area developed because uh, rich people wanted to move the f away from poor people. And there's always going to be uh, people that want more, you know, beachfront properties. Okay. So what ended up happening is whoever f built that monstrosity there got really lucky because they were able to build it in an area where like a lot of these other people were like oh yeah let's do it let's also buy it. let's also fucking buy all the breachfront property here and just live there um my neighbor's house went on the market for 3.2 million was bought then three months later listed for 4.5 million and sold god damn bro living a nice ass area brother what the fuck is this neighbors flexing for 4.5 mil Hey, I don't sim for capitalism. I sim for American imperialism. Of course, they go hand in hand, but I want the U.S. as a social democracy still leading the world, eventually handing it off to India. I know I'm insane and hopeless. What that? Dude, your, your worldview is so... It's so... Dude, you want India to rule the world? What the fuck? Just say you want Muslim genocide. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's terrible, dude. I definitely... <laughs> I've actually never heard that. Like, I've heard people be like, oh, I want China to be the next hegemonic power, but I've never heard someone be like, I want India to be the next hegemonic power. Literally every Indian is like this, my dad included. Purchased our townhouse June 2020, 434,000. Two townhouses have sold in our complex for 780,000 in the last month. Real estate is busted, man. Rent for a similar size home is 50% more than our mortgages. I mean, how else are you going to make money, dude? Yeah, of course. How else are landlords going to make money, baby? Living. This is basically... As you saying I want China to be the next hegemonic power? I don't even want China to be the next hegemonic power. I just want America to have fucking high-speed rail and, like, get out of the way when other nations are, are uh, developing and, and, you know, maxing out their, their revolutionary potential. I don't care who's the hegemonic power. No matter who it is, it's going to suck no matter what for the working class. Basically, Nirvana Central, man. This is it. This is what happens when money meets opportunity. This is what happens when a Polak real estate agent... Get catches while you bro this dude i think this guy does not like polish people drunk and sells you a house well, you get taken advantage of it overpay can you go to the backyard from here absolutely you can. absolutely you can well, follow me through this way here, here's uh, the elevator for the guest home here is the staircase for the guest home where you will be residing in yeah, right. this is actually the covered loggia terrace from beneath the guest home which is probably bigger than anyone Bro, this dude could call him whatever the f he wants. He's closing on the sixteen million dollar house, dude. Are you kidding me? Beller Beach or Beller Shore to begin with, but it follows up or it follows through across this covered bridge, crossing to another five thousand square feet of covered loggia they terrace. They clean the ceiling, but they will. Hey, there's a leak in a pool. Get this leak stop right here. Hold on, hold on. Let me do it. Call a plumber and get a leak stopped on there. Now stay like that till the plumber comes. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Here, you got a pool. Big deal. Oh, yeah, a pool. You have a pool that Landmark Pools put in that is unreal. Take a look. You basically wade in with the stone feature with the small little fountain deal. All pebble tech through. You've got a covered bridge. You've got a spa towards the very end. Oh All of it culminates God. in a lazy river that runs the entire property. If I swim the lazy river five times, it's one mile. I'm thinking about starting to do it. What? Oh my God, dude, a that's too much. Area. Just a little. You know that motherfucker's not gonna do it, too. Like, no shot does he ever swim there, okay? His ass ain't swimming a mile. Get the fuck out of here, dude. That's insane. Little bar area here. We'll use the pool more than you. No shot. This dude's not going to use the pool more than I use my pool, which is one time this past weekend. For 
this pool area that could basically seat what about real estate agent got approximately eight hundred and twelve thousand dollars in commission yeah get the bag baby major bag alert 50 or 60 people billiards table lazy river that goes all the way around here let's let's go to the bowling alley come on through well, Did you say fat old dudes love swimming for some reason? I don't know, man. They love swimming because it's like less activity. Like, it's just like easier on the joints and shit than fucking running and stuff. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's literally the reason. With bowling shoes. We even have Ben's size here. On a second, do we have a 15? Now I guess Ben's got to buy a pair. Would this fit him? Probably not. No, he needs like the double wide shoes. The double wide. Bro, this motherfucker's a size 15. What the? F shoes, I understand. And I'm only a 13 or a 14, depending on how much weight I lost that week. So the shoes are there for me. I am with the Tampa Bay Times and I am sure if you have a house that size and you don't put a indoor basketball court in it is a wash like how the do you not do that I don't understand how you can have a house that size and you don't have an indoor basketball court I am getting ready to do a news story with our business reporter about the sale of this home supposedly it's the biggest sale in the history of Tampa Bay that, okay so why why this house why this house? Well, because I currently have two houses. So if I take two houses and put them together, then I only have one house. And um, what in particular about this house on the beach? Well, we looked at all the houses that are available on the beach for sale. And uh, this is a little more than we wanted or needed, but you only live once, so. How many people will be living here? Me, my wife, and my 11-year-old. So how long have you been looking? Uh, we've been looking now for at least four months, yeah. Wait, you said, Faustini said this is the average house across the street from this dude's house. $976,000 house. That's what he's looking at, like on the other side when he's not looking at the... <laughs> when he's look, not looking at the beach. I just, I got with the wrong agent, basically. I hired the wrong agent, and he talked me into this place. <laughs> and uh, now, are you, does it need any work? Ben, aren't you gonna put a big Jewish star on the roof? You need a camera guy at the newspaper. You need an assistant with a real ass assistant. That's him. Nice to meet you. This is my wife of over 15 years. We just wow, turned up 15th anniversary, and this is her gift. For 15 years of putting up with me, this is what she gets. Aww. Now she has two grand prizes, me and a house. She was only 12 when we got married. I'm no, just kidding. No, I was not. Don't listen to him. What the f- Okay, dude. Oh my god. Okay. That's <laughs> weird pedophilia joke there. That's cool. Yeah, the Zestimate for this right now is $26 million. $26.1 million, dude. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thanks. So the previous owner got traded, and so did the house. Oh, he retired. He retired. First he got traded, didn't he? Yeah, who oh, who was the previous here. owner? I, know the I think it was Birdman. Yeah. Let me tell you, these two right here, they cleaned up today. Yeah. They cleaned up. Okay, he's already he's already planning a world cruise. <laughs> and Paying off my credit cards today. <laughs> Paying these babies off. Hey, question. seriously, you know what I wanted to call this article? My man had $800,000 in credit card debt. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be sick to pay off my credit card debt with my eight hundred thousand dollar commission I got from this house that I just sold. Crazy. What? I want. You know what you should call this? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it looks like the Beauty and the Beast castle, That's doesn't it? Headline. Yeah, it does. Beauty <laughs> and the real estate the beast. Line, baby. Yes. Uh, there's still some open issues that the realtor. I actually love this though. This is the part I do love because 
escrow companies suck okay and 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 you know buying a house you do get okay if you don't know what the fuck you're doing so it's cool to see him like you know yell at the at the escrow company and 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 the sales side you know what i mean i just so that's cool uh has uh promised me that we'll be taken care of so i guess we're okay Yeah, I'll accept your congratulations, and I'll counter you with a thank you very much. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hey, do me a favor, miss, are you there? Can we keep that title open for a little while? So if I get a loan, the bank uh, can... Bro, he groomed his wife, no joke, Monka S. See her bio? Wait, what do you mean? Wife death rumors? His wife is dead? No, his wife is not dead. What the fuck is this? Dude, what is this website, bro? One of his uncles was allegedly convicted for the possession and distribution of hard drugs. At the age of 17, he joined the army where he cultivated self-discipline. <laughs> yeah. Seems like it. In 1987, Mala went ahead to become a manager for a small property where he was staying. He started out by cleaning out garbage around the building, but Mark Wilton, the landlord, noticed Ben's potential, put him in charge of his real estate asset. <laughs> legit dot Nigeria. <laughs> Seems legit. Is he gay? Hassan Piker's bio, height, education, net worth. Is he gay? I'm not 6'3", I'm 6'4". 194 pounds? I wish. What? Why is Murad on here? Which career? Merch? Other ventures? There are unofficial reports of the Twitch streamer and gamer has a net worth of 2 million. However, it's believed that he's worth much more because he recently purchased a property worth 2.7 million in West Hollywood. <laughs> what the fuck? The political commentator's activism for LGBTQ rights has made people question his sexuality. While he barely talks about his private life and has never talked about his sexuality, he's believed to be straight. What do you mean I never talk about my private life? Do a photo though. I look good there. He was rumored to be dating Pokemon, a social media influencer from Morocco. <laughs> what the fuck? Controversies in Twitch bans. Oh my god. This is insane, dude. Okay, we're done. We can reuse it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. That was the call where Mr. Mala officially funded yeah, the purchase the of the house. The Here's the closing. Today, <laughs> he made the biggest sale ever. What's the wow. biggest buyer ever yeah. of my career? The biggest sale ever. The girthiest. No, I said the biggest. I'm going to where we keep the guests. I like to refer to that as the pest house because normally our guests are pests. You come into the guest house and come into the gym. Eleven dismissed it outright, Lamau. Wait, no, I, I'm straight, guys. Uh, I, I'm not gay. Sorry to the LGBT community. So weird. Look at this. Oh. I've only been to the gym and the sauna one. Here's the first test room. With a balcony. Look at that, baby. It has, has all these balconies and nobody ever goes on them. It's just for looks, I guess, because it's not like the old days. People go out in the balconies. I think it was dating, about dating Pokemon bullshit? Yeah, dude. Okay. Well, that's bullshit, too. Or, you know, I don't know. People don't go on their balconies that much. Another balcony. This is a guest master suite.
say this house is wasted on this parasite, but you have to understand that like this house is so large that it's wasted on everyone. Okay, like what? What are they? Who's gonna be able to fill this house? You need like a army, dude. Like this house is impossibly large to a degree where like one family can't really, you know. The only thing I need to buy for this house is about 50 ashtrays from the dollar store and plant them everywhere. Then this house will be complete. Oh God. I get waved to everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? I didn't even know this room was here. What's in it? Let's see. Trophy room. Uh, must be that. Ooh, look at this. An extra room I didn't even know about. This is where we're gonna cut off the heads of all my enemies and put them in these boxes and start with you, Danny. Your head's going in this box, baby. Bro, this dude is literally, uh, I mean, this is, uh, he's joking, but like, is he joking? Me. Anyway, I didn't even know this room existed. I don't have any trophies because I never won anything in my life. I don't know, I guess I could hang my Jimmy Hart pictures in here. I took all the boxes out, put a pool table in there, a hockey table in there, and a fool's ball in there. <laughs> this motherfucker out here being like, he's literally the closest to Baron Harkonnen as you can get in the real world, okay? This is a big difference to where I grew up. A big difference. What does it mean for you to buy a house like this? It means that, you know, I've been working for all my life and I'm not going to live forever and I want my family to be taken care of after I'm gone and I want to leave a legacy and hopefully if we keep this house, then they'll uh, have many, many years to enjoy it even after I'm gone. In the meantime, we got a nice big house on the beach and uh, hopefully we'll all live happily ever after. If we can get rid of Danny, that'll be the first step. I mean, it's been a great house to live in. We've been here for a couple of years now, and uh, we've had a lot of good times here. We're still living happily ever after. Hit the like button. Go to binmallow.com. How the top 1% buy cars? All right, since everybody's so interested in cars. I mean, dude, I know how to... I know how to top 1% buy cars, and you know how to top 1% buys cars now, too. Like a bunch of peasants, dude. Sitting get the goddamn dealership for seven and a half hours because it turns out, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you make because if you don't have good credit, even if you have enough credit to fucking put a, you know, to, to buy a house, you might not have enough credit for the Porsche uh, bank, okay? You know, seven and a half hours at the dealership. That's how the top 1% buy cars, baby. <laughs> I saw him with Pokey's hair. No, it looks cool. It was. I'm totally telling you, it's. It. I mean, maybe not that shape. You know. You could add some depth. You I literally. Have more volume I look that. like I'm calling every manager. <laughs> like there is not a manager. There's not a manager in California. I will not call with this hair. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>